And, and, and the, 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 uh, the particular reason why you don't want to show your license is what? The Fourth Amendment, sir. On July 4th, 2013, Chris Calbo went through a checkpoint in Rutherford County, Tennessee. Video of that interaction, which documented an extremely hostile A.J. Ross circumventing the rights of those whom he claims to serve and protect, went viral. Am I being detained or am I free to go? Pull over to the side right there. Okay, step on out. Am I, out. So I'm being detained? Either pull over the other side or you can step out right here. Which do you want? Far from facing any repercussions for his actions, Ross was later promoted within the Rutherford County Sheriff's Outfit. Perhaps then, it's not too surprising that last week, Rutherford County was the location of another draconian checkpoint, this time a driver's license checkpoint staffed by employees of the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Yes, those traveling who were not suspected of any crime were told to turn over their papers or else. Today it happened at 1.30 on a weekday, so a vast majority of the people going through are just hardworking people in their work trucks. Myself and a couple other guys, we went out and cop blocked the checkpoint. Hello. Is there a problem going on in the area? No, sir. Some... We're doing a driver's license checkpoint, so I need to see your driver's, a driver's license. Driver's license yes, check. Yes, sir. You feel like that's okay in America? Do you have your driver's license or not? Have I we do. have we committed okay, a crime? Let's take a look at it and you'll be on your way. Have we committed a crime or cause to believe we have? I went through the checkpoint and um, I did provide my driver's license when they asked, but I, you know, I asked first of all if there was some kind of problem, what reason they may have for doing it. To me, in a lot of ways, it's kind of assuming people are guilty before they're innocent, and that's not what we're supposed to be about here. When uh, Cop Bike was there with cameras and we had our signs up, the demeanor changed drastically where they were introducing themselves. Um, asking them how their afternoon was going, so there was a pretty massive shift in their demeanor once the cameras were turned on. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing well. Not uh, not too keen to see these kind of checkpoints, though, honestly. Yes. We were present for the second half of the hour-long checkpoint, during which time we saw a handful of ransom notes being issued. Uh, she says, "Get it taken care of," and gets a "Thank you so much" in response. Was there a victim caused, ma'am? I didn't see anybody victimized. Seems kind of odd to demand ransoms of them. The vast majority of people, you know, gave thumbs up or even waved, and smiled or whatever. So I had a couple that even honked. Even a few people rolled the window down and thanked us for what we were doing. So people seem to appreciate the fact that, you know, we're trying to look out for each other. And when we showed up, there was a green four-door Jeep parked on the east side of the highway facing north. There was no driver visible, either in the Jeep or in a road pirate vehicle. A short time later, the Jeep's alarm was going off. <coughs> Through a friend of a friend, we were later able to get in touch with the Jeep's owner, who was shocked to see that the Tennessee Highway Patrol employees were searching inside his vehicle. Proving a driver's license checkpoint. You got your license on you? Uh, a driver's license checkpoint? Yes, sir. Uh, is that legal? Do you have your driver's license on you? Uh, I prefer not to show it. Okay, pull over there. Pull right in front of my car. For what? To get a citation. For what? Just pull right in front What's of my car. What's the citation for? For not having given me a license. Uh, I don't have to give you a license if I'm not suspected of a crime, ma'am. Go ahead and pull over in front of my car, please. Uh, for, am I getting a citation right now? Yes, sir. Pull in okay. front of my car, please. How you doing, sir? Good. Sergeant Griffin with the Highway Patrol. Uh -huh. It's a driver's license checkpoint. Okay. So we can see your license with you. I don't think that's legal, sir. It is legal, and unfortunately, we're not going to be able to let you drive from here uh, without seeing it. Okay, we well, I'm not going to show you any identification, sir. These are illegal. Okay. Hey, Scott. Scott. Sir. Yes, sir. All right. As we explain, as I had already explained, mm -hmm. this is a driver's license checkpoint. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and we need to, we're going to need to see your driver's license to prove that you are a valid operator to operate on the roadways within the state of Tennessee. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, unless you show proof that you have a license, we're uh -huh. not going to be able to let you leave from here. 
Okay, well, the Fourth Amendment says I don't have to provide any of that, sir. You took an oath to the Constitution to uphold that Fourth Amendment, did you not? Sir, I'm not going to Sobriety say checkpoints are legal in the state of Tennessee. ID checkpoints, they are not legal. You cannot just stop somebody and demand to see their ID under penalty of, you know, prosecution. You can't just sit here and demand to see my ID when you don't suspect me of any crime whatsoever. You can't hold a checkpoint just to sit here and ask people for their identification for no reason whatsoever. There, there's no reason for this at all. Okay. Well, we need to see is your driver's license. Sir, I'm not going to show provide you any driver's license. Do you understand license. that we can't let you leave from here without it? Well, sir, that I'm, I'm not providing you with any identification today, sir. Not for a driver's license checkpoint. Do you checkpoint. understand that you can be taken to jail for that? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. If that's what you want to do, I'd be more than happy to have my time in court with both of you guys or whoever here. Okay. Okay. All right. And, and, and the, 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 uh, the particular reason why you don't want to show your license is what? The Fourth Amendment, sir. Fourth Amendment. Yes, sir. Right. I have the right to uh, travel. I have the right to be secure in my persons license, and effects. Sir? sir, I'd like to just be on my way, actually. If you're not going to charge me with a crime... You, you, uh, uh, well, here's the deal. If you don't show a license, you will be placed under arrest. So yes, okay. Be then I guess that's if that's what we have to do here, then that's okay. fine. Uh, Is this your vehicle? Sir, if I'm under arrest, I'd like to invoke my you're right to remain arrest. silent. No, you're not under you just arrest. said that you were no, going to arrest me. I said if you're not going to show a license. You said you were going to arrest me. No, I didn't say you're under arrest, sir. Okay. Don't put words in my mouth, please. But then I'm being detained? You do not show. Yes, you are being For what reason? Right now because you, For what crime? You're refusing. You're refusing. Okay. You're refusing For what crime? Are you going to let me talk or are you just going to keep talking? For what crime? Go ahead. Can I talk? You're refusing to show a driver's license. Is that a crime? This is a driver's yes. license check. No, unless I'm being suspected of a crime, it is not a crime to refuse to show you an ID. Uh, which, 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 Dana, or which one do you and want? Can I have your name and badge number, sir? You, you'll have it, sir. Here. Sorry, and your name, sir? Uh, my name is Sergeant Scott Miller. My Sp badge number is 26 with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Patrol. And you, sir? Sergeant Anthony Griffin. And your badge number? The, the badge number 12. Thank you. Do you have a valid license? Sir, I'd, I'd like to invoke my right to remain silent. Uh -huh. I understand. You got your vehicle in park? Yes, sir, I do. Step All right, sir. Vehicle. Step on yes, out of the vehicle for me. For what reason, sir? Oh, please, don't touch my... Don't try sir, to open my door. Step out of the vehicle, please. For what reason? Sir, you're being detained right now. Uh-huh. Until you prove that you have a driver's license with you. Uh-huh. We're going to detain you. We're going to go back here. We're going to talk about it some more. Okay. Step out of the vehicle for me. Just let you know I do not consent to any searches. That's fine. All right. Could you please? Thank you. A driver's license? Uh, am I being on what am I being arrested for, sir? Well, sir, like we told you back there, man, you're being huh? arrested for not showing us a driver's license. Well, that's that's you can't arrest me for not showing a driver's license. Yes, we can, can sir. Well, I thought I was being charged for not having a license. That's what I just said. Well, you said not showing it to you. There's a difference between not showing and not having one. Well, right now, you're being detained and arrested for not mm -hmm. showing us a driver's license and mm -hmm. under the suspicion of not having a, of operating a vehicle without a driver's license. I'm a big believer in, uh, in freedom, <laughs> and uh, I, I see this kind of things. And I guess, like the paper, you know, the sign says, it's very much indicative of Nazi Germany. And it's not a hype, it's not hyperbole. It's not exaggeration. This is the stuff they did in Nazi Germany. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Do you have? We're doing a driver's license checkpoint. Do you have your license on you? What? Well, am I free to go? I see you've been watching YouTube, huh? So it, that happened in my hometown, in my county, uh, is very troubling to me. The death camps in Nazi Germany didn't happen overnight. It was only through decades of indoctrination, conditioning, and manufactured incidents that such institutionalized atrocities occurred. Was it Mr. Miller? Yes, sir. Do you have any uh, moral qualms yourself with these type of checkpoints proliferating in the states? I just do what state law tells me to do, sir. 
What if they told you when a uh, Chevy S10 drove up you had to shoot the driver, would you do that? Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. So you would draw a line at some point, just not here with the checkpoints. Stand up, not just for yourself, but for the next generation. The only option left to us is to take it upon ourselves to protect ourselves, to take individual responsibility for our own defense and, and for the, the people around you, you know, the people that you love and care about, your neighbors and friends and family. The Nazi-esque checkpoints and the larger issue of paramilitary policing is not conducive to freedom. It should not be tolerated. You know, if you want to stand up for the government, that's one thing. You want to stand up for the freedom of the people, that's another thing. They don't always coincide. You don't have to wear a uniform to serve your country. You think these kind of checkpoints are uh, help bring about a free community? Some might say they, they uh, do just the opposite. How you doing, sir? You think these checkpoints are uh, good to help bring about a free community? Or you think maybe they're kind of reminiscent of Nazi Germany? Thank you for making our streets safer. They're required to tell you ahead of time where these checkpoints are. Figure out where they are, get your friends together and hold up signs, film. Uh, filming is very important and it's just for accountability. Just get involved. So long as people continue to grant that coercive institution legitimacy, it will always grow in size and scope at the direct inverse of individual rights. We always have to be cognizant of standing up for those rights. And and not just pass the buck to somebody else, but you know, take individual responsibility for each our own freedom. And you know, very well could do infinitely more for our own freedom than any politician will ever do.